So last time we looked at setting up the uh, a score and today I'm going to go over how we can arrange all these palettes. Now I'm not going to go into how to enter notes and do the simple stuff because you can find these uh, quick start videos if, under the help menu and uh, all, all you have here is you have uh, all these videos that explain it very very well. So I'm going to go over stuff that's not covered in those videos. So let's say you want to uh, adjust some of these palettes or you want, you know, you just want to edit them. So what you can do is you can go into Window, you can Show, for example, you can have the Rest palette right here. You can also click and drag these palettes around and uh, not have them at all. If you go into Customize Palettes and choose a palette, let's start with the main tool palette, you can actually choose which, uh, which buttons you want on there. Uh, and which ones you want. So let's say we get rid of, we can uh, add hyperscribe to there, and we have right there. Um, we can also remove it. We can remove the repeat bar. Uh, you see all these are going away. And then uh, you can uh, basically, uh, yeah, you can edit them as such. I'm going to put this one back. I use this in page layout. Actually, I don't remove, I don't use this. And you can just simply close it, and then uh, there you have it. You can also get rid of that. Shift all this over here. You can move all this stuff around. You can do this with any palette you want. Just go into Customize Palette, and then just click on any palette you want. So another thing that you can do is uh, you can also save your preferences by simply, well, just going down to File and then going to Save Preferences and, and saving them as such. And, um, well, that's kind of pretty much it for this video. So uh, I'll be covering more in later videos. So see you later.